Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush, and this time, instead of just Tilt Brush, we're going to be talking about the experimental branch of the Open Brush fork. So Icosa has put together Open Brush, which is available for all of your mainstream uh, headsets, except for, I believe, PlayStation at this point. But it's available for Quest and on Steam VR and a couple of other places, available for download even for Linux machines. Now, one of the nice things Open Brush has allowed is for something called experimental tools and experimental brushes. Now, these are not part of the Tilt Brush package. These have been added in. Also, they are not completely finished yet, which is why it's called experimental. So some things may or may not work the same between different platforms, or may or may not respond the way you expect them to. They shouldn't damage anything, but because they are experimental, it means they might not be compatible with other people. If you try to share the tilts, or if you try to bring one of these into multi-brush, it won't have these experimental brushes, so really it's for single player working with your own environment. Now, you can actually make your own custom brushes, but we'll do a separate video about that, and it requires some skill with the program Unity since this is all 3D stuff. So rather than making our own, we're going to look at what comes with the experimental package. Now, for Oculus Quest users, you want to go into the Apps Lab is where they have the experimental version. It's not part of the main fork. Likewise, if you're using Steam VR, the standard open brush does not have this yet. They're hoping to add it to the betas in Steam, and when it does, we'll talk about that. But for now, as far as July 2021, it is a standalone program. You can download open brush experimental from a couple of different places. One of the safest is their public itch forum. If I go to open brush dot itch dot io slash open brush I think with a hyphen either has a hyphen or it doesn't we'll look online I'll, uh, and this is where it's going to download for all the main platforms. They've actually got the Quest version, the Linux version, the Windows version they're all good to go. Right now they're up to version 3 that's the current version of the experimental that I'm going to be using here. They've added a bunch of extra tools and things like that. So you'll need to see which version is available for your platform and if those same tools are going to be available there. We'll be doing updates to this episode as they do updates to OpenBrush. So let's look at those experimental brushes first. So I've loaded onto my PC OpenBrush Experimental. And I've opened it up, and as you can see, it's fully compatible with our mixed reality set. Normal tilt brushes are all still there. All your normal brushes, all your normal tools, including the flying tool from OpenBrush. If I scroll through my brushes menu, after the final one, normally hull brush is the last one, but now it's added some new tools. You can see it's got the little blue uh, vial symbol to indicate this is experimental. Most of these should work, depending. So I'm going to grab the second one, the Mylar Tube. That's one of my favorite ones. That one definitely works. Skinny Tube, Big Tube. You can see how it bulges on the ends. But this is an example of a non-standard brush. This drawing would not be compatible with normal tilt brush or normal open brush. It doesn't have these experimental brushes, so it might show up as a single plain white line, or it might not even show up at all, depending on your compatibility and your platform. So only open brush will show these cool fancy new brushes in their glory. So I'm gonna stay here in open brush and we'll play with a few of these, just so you can see some that work and what happens when they don't work. So that Mylar tube is nice. It does all of your standard brush properties. It plays well with your straight edge and mirror and all that kind of thing. And most of these are pretty straightforward. What they do, they're either well named, some of them have a good description thumbnail, and there may be four or five pages of them, depending on your platform and depending on when you download these brushes. Any new brushes would just be added on the end here. 
So I'm going to grab another one of these. Here's an example of one that doesn't quite work as expected in this scenario. I'm using Windows 10, Steam VR, Index headset, Live is my media. So any of those things could be interfering. But here's an example, candy cane. Lovely candy cane, bigger, smaller, standard candy cane type of paintbrush. Just like any other paintbrush, let's go back to that mylar. Now if I undo, the mylar goes away and you can hear the sound. If I undo again, you'll hear the sound and the computer thinks it's gone, but it's not disappearing. I'm gonna grab my eraser tool and try erasing these guys. They're not disappearing either. If I even clear the sketch, okay, that worked. It doesn't always. So there are some tools that do have a few problems and you may have to find interesting ways if you discover you have incompatibilities. Now you can always report incompatibilities to ICOSA using their Discord, which is also linked down in the description. They will try to see what's going on and update it, but bear in mind they got a lot going on. They appreciate the feedback, but they may not get you an answer immediately. Don't worry, just dive back into open brush and go back to painting. They'll help you out eventually. So some of these brushes are adjusted by color. You'll notice the candy cane was completely unaffected by the color. It'll choose whatever parameters the person who made the brush wants to give it. And in the lesson about Unity, using Unity, then we'll get into making brushes on your own. Some of them are animated using our standard, whoops, there's a multi-mirror brush. Uh, some of, and here's another case where undo isn't making it go away. Here's a case where clear screen isn't making it go away. Fortunately, if I switch environments, it'll go away. But these are some of the other tools. Some of them are animated. So for example, if I find, where's that little fairy lights one? Uh, fairy lights one. So you can see they pulse and blink like fireflies. Let's make it much smaller. Still pulsing. Get close to your camera so you can see it. So it's got animated brushes, it's got the transparent brushes, fog brushes, that type of thing. It even has some variations on our hull brushes. This one's called smooth hull because it tends to round the corners. I mean, this is uh, round off the corners, that type of thing. Let's grab him and move him out of the way. There we go. So all of our pieces still act as brushes as normally. They just bring us new appearances, new tools to bring into our art. Bearing in mind only somebody using OpenBrush Experimental will be able to see these properly. Fortunately, I could use things like the camera tools and things to make videos and backgrounds and exports, and they should be just fine. It's just somebody trying to go in with Tilt Brush is going to have problems. Now, the Experimental Branch 3.0 does come with a few experimental tools as well. For example, Recolor Tool. I can actually choose a different color and recolor, whoops, whatever brush we've got going here. Rebrush, oh, I'm sorry, rebrush, not we've already had recolor, but rebrush allows me to choose a completely different brush and turn your painting into a different type of brush stroke. So let's grab our feather. You are now feathers. Feather's pretty cool because it's actually very, made, made to be a very short brush. Here, transferred into a very long stroke. It's experimental, it won't work with everything, but rebrush lets you transform one brush into a completely different type of brush. There we go. It's got some variations on mirrorings. It's got some variations on bringing in measurements and drafting lines. It's even got a uh, profile logging where it's keeping track of what you've done while you do it. So you can go back later and review if something went wrong or if something went right, what exactly you were doing at the time. These tools will be added to and changed over time as ICOSA works with OpenBrush. Go away, doesn't wanna leave, so I'm gonna stick it back on. Point. There we go. Wow, here's an open brush thing we should mention to ICOSA. Okay, there we go. 
So as you can see, we've got a lot of different tools to play with. We have structures. Where's my tool here? Let's turn that off, please. There we go. We have structures with more three-dimensional shape to them. We have grids with, ah, you can see how it stays a grid, but then it goes solid. That's a little error. I guess maybe I won't use that one. The, there's so many brushes going on at a time that it's hard for us to know ahead of time what they all do without working with them for a while. So now that I've gotten here, I see different styles of fire. Hey! So as you work with your art, experimental brushes just give you more to play with. They're not going to be universally successful, but it really opens up your palette and your list of toys. That's all I wanted to cover for this time. Anything else starts getting into customizing the brushes themselves, and we will be doing that at a later point. But for now, I'm going to wrap this up. We're going to choose a nice normal brush here in a nice vibrant color so we can give you our normal message. Thanks for joining us. Let us know if there are any questions or if there are any tools you want us to go over in detail. We do intend on doing specific lessons on some of these experimental tools, really highlighting how they work, how you can use the drafting in your, in your uh, artwork. Especially if you're going to be working with a 3D program like Blender, you want to make sure proportions are accurate, that type of thing. That's all for this time. I hope you had a lot of fun. The fire's sort of drowning that out, so let's re- brush the fire into snowflakes. And it pops that fire into snowflakes. That's so cool. Thanks, everybody. I hope this will give you uh, some good inspiration. Have fun.